Muslim minority Rohingya refugees crossing over into Bangladesh describe the violence they are fleeing, blaming Myanmar's military and Buddhist vigilantes for attacks on their villages in Rakhine state. At night they held them at gunpoint. That night a lot of them came. Some were killed, some came to our area. They were setting fire, attacking, killing and shooting people. Where will all these people go? They are all coming here. They are killing us, burning us. We decided to come here. Myanmar says its security forces are fighting against what it terms terrorists, who officials say have attacked police posts and burned homes, killing civilians. Phil Robertson of Human Rights Watch told VOA via Skype, satellite imagery of 21 distinct burn sites may tell a different story. Again, uh, we believe that these are probably been done by either uh, state security forces or by ethnic uh, Buddhist Rakhine mobs. But, you know, we have to get on the ground and investigate, and we're not being allowed to do so. Ask if she has faith in Myanmar's government to stop the violence, State Department spokesperson Heather Nauert said this Thursday. We'd like to certainly call on the government of Burma to allow better, greater access for reporters and general journalists uh, to be able to enter that country and be able to provide accurate information about what's going on in the ground. There also remains a humanitarian situation where it is very difficult for humanitarian aid groups to be able to get in and provide the supplies and the support uh, that is necessary. Burmese leader and Nobel Peace Prize laureate Aung San Suu Kyi has come under increasing criticism for what some say is a failure to speak out and stop the violence. Priscilla Clapp, former charge des affaires at the U.S. Embassy in Myanmar, calls the criticism of the former opposition leader unfair. In a way, she is at, at a very great disadvantage with the military. The military still control all of the security of the country and much of the government administration from before. The State Department says it has a robust dialogue with the Myanmar government. A senior official said Friday the U.S. is primarily focused on the humanitarian needs of those displaced in Rakhine State and that it is grateful to Bangladesh for taking in refugees. Cindy Sain, VOA News, the State Department.